welcome back to Bella Branch DIY. I'm Michelle, if you're new here, thanks for joining me. Today I have some really great DIYs that are all based around pressed flowers. Those were super popular during the holidays when I did ornaments with them, and I think you guys will love them. I think they turned out great. You guys ready? Let's go. Our first project is a tapered candle, and we're gonna add some pressed flowers to it. And I have a couple different colors I'm gonna show you with. First, you're gonna take a candle, a votive, and you're gonna light the votive. And you're gonna wait until the votive has a little bit of a well filling with wax. And then you're gonna take a flat brush and gently go inside of that well of molten or liquid wax. And you're gonna use that as if it's like glue or Mod Podge. It dries really quickly, so you have you have to work quickly. And you're just gonna keep putting it underneath the flower petals and over top of the flower petals. And then what it'll do is it'll make a coat over it as if it's embedded into the wax. And then I did the, this also on these really cool uh, tapers that are actually battery operated, but they're wax candles with a battery. And then I'll show you a little later that has a remote control that you can turn it on. They're so pretty putting all different flowers on top of them, actually in between, so it kind of looks like it was made in the candle. And you just keep going and make your beautiful candle tapers. Look how cute they are. They turn out great. And see, that's how you turn them on with the remote control. Here's a version I did on a large candle, and this one's really pretty. I love the way this turned out. And you just follow the same process. Just keep layering on the wax, and you're done. Our next project is a taper candle holder, and I made a version of a double rainbow with only pink being the rainbow. And you're gonna use Sculpey um, oven baked clay, which I love working with, and it's super easy to work with. And you're gonna make your first uh, rainbow shape, and you kind of do it in a cube, and so as, as long as you want, decide how big you want your rainbow to be. Then you're gonna bend it down into the rainbow shape, and then smooth it out. Make sure the bottoms are flat. And then you're gonna take a smaller piece and then make sure it's the same width as your other rainbow. And you just kinda of, kind of roll it with a little rolling pin on top to make it a square all the way around. And see how I pounded that? That's so that it'd have a flat bottom. And now you're gonna decide where you want that other rainbow to be. Now you need to score it. And scoring is how you make the two pieces sit together so that they don't come apart. And you're going to put those together and then you're going to take the clay and press it into the other side and kind of sculpt it the way you like. And you can make the entire thing smooth or I like it where it still has dimpling and where it looks like it's been hand manipulated by a sculptor. Now you're going to take some pink Sculpey and you're going to roll that and then just keep rolling until you get the thickness of a coil that you want and then you're going to put that on top to make the rainbow and do it on both sides and then you're going to press it into the white clay just press all the way around and then you can take a little rolling pin and smooth over it so that it's flush with the white And then I pounded it down to make it flat. Now you're gonna take your tapers and decide where you want them to be and then measure that. And make sure it's the right size. And then you're gonna scoop out the clay so that you have a place for the candle to sit. And it doesn't have to be totally sitting in there because we're gonna make a little raised uh, lip around the top so it'll give it some extra structure and it'll hold the candles really well. So after you do that and you make it all smooth, you're gonna now wanna make the top pieces 
to fit around the taper. Now you're going to take a little uh, piece and roll that out and that's going to fit around the top of the opening. So you want to measure that and make sure that fits pretty close. And then you're going to take your little rolling pin and you're going to flatten it out. And then you're going to want to take a straight edge. You can use a ruler or like this is a paint stick. And you're just going to want to make it so it's straight on both sides. You're going to cut that out. I use an X-Acto knife. You can use whatever tool you have. Then flip it over and do it on the same, the, the same thing on the other side. And then you're going to take your taper, take the candle, and you're going to put that piece around the base of it to measure the circumference. So you're going to wrap it around and then take your X-Acto knife and just gently cut it so you don't cut into your candle. And then you're going to put those two pieces together and smooth them so that they fit. And then you're going to, after you put it on top, you're going to score right along the edge there. And then you're going to smooth that piece into the uh, base of the rainbow. And just kind of go on the inside, around the edges, all the way around. And you're going to do it on both sides. And I'm just fitting it in to make sure that it's exactly where I want. And then I did the same thing on the other side. Stick this in the oven at 275 degrees and bake for 15 minutes per quarter inch of your thickness. For an example, a half inch thickness should be at around 30 minutes. But follow the instructions on your box. Really turned out so cute. Project number three is a glass votive holder. And we're going to use Mod Podge and a paintbrush. So same technique as you did on the candles, except now you're using Mod Podge. And I'm just going to keep layering on the flowers all the way around. Put the little Mod Podge down on the glass first, then layer your flowers, and then Mod Podge on top after you put your flowers down. And just keep going until you have it the way that you love it. This one's so cute. And I have all the links to the supplies that I use uh, in the description below. Look how cute that turned out. So what'd you guys think of all the DIYs? I think they turned out so good. And I love the way the blue tapers look with the flowers on them. They all turn out great. I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to subscribe and click the little bell above, wherever I'm gonna put that so that you're notified of new DIYs. And as always, I love when you guys comment. So be sure to comment, let me know what you guys liked and if you tried this DIY. And until next time, bye, happy DIYing.